Despite glaring proof of torture, Pakistan continues to be in denial on the inhuman treatment meted out to Kargil martyr Saurabh Kalia. Saurabh Kalia was taken captive by Pakistani troops in 1999 and a few weeks later his mutilated body was handed over to Indian authorities. But 13 years later, there has been no action and no apology by the Pakistani government. This even as support grows back home for the Kalia family who now want the International Court of Justice to intervene. Has been overwhelming all through. I am so thankful, grateful, all the people who have who have spoke to me, who have SMS me, who have emailed me. I am I am not able to see all the all the mails I received so far. Again, I thank all the people from the from the core of of my heart. My only urge to the uh, Indian government that uh, it should take up this issue with Pakistan. In case Pakistan does not agree, then it should be uh, uh, raised at the international, international court of uh, court of justice. It is never too late. Uh, even at at his moment. Uh, Indian government can take up this issue uh, with Pakistan. The Pak government uh, gives in, gives in black and the white that no no soldier will meet the fate of Captain Saurabh Kalia and his five soldiers. Uh, I will be happy. Uh, that will be the happiest moment uh, for me. Overwhelming support is pouring in for the parents of Captain Saurabh Kalia who have been struggling uh, for the past 13 years for justice for their son. It is not just common Indians from across the country who have been calling, writing and sending text messages of support. But now, families of other martyrs have also joined in. Captain Vikram Batra's father has also extended his support to uh, Dr. N.K. Kalia in his struggle. Uh, Captain Vikram Batra's father has also said that it is never too late for the government to act, although he feels that uh, just after the Kargil war, the government of India should have taken up this issue with Pakistan and lodged a very strong protest and uh, India should have made Pakistan to admit uh, uh, its, its act. But now he says that uh, it is never too late, even now this issue can be taken up because otherwise uh, this may have a demoralizing effect uh, on the coming generations of uh, uh, members of the Indian Armed Forces, uh, something which Dr. Kalia has been saying all along. Uh, he has said that this is not a fight for justice to Saurabh Kalia, but it is a, f a fight for the overall dignity of the armed forces as a whole. I came onto the scene on the 1st of June, uh, just a couple of days before the operation was started there. And uh, when I came there, I heard of this horrific uh, act by the Pakistan Army in, in, in which uh, Captain Kalia was, his body was returned in a very badly mutilated condition. And uh, it's basically he had gone on a patrol and when he came, he was captured and when he came back, they returned the body in this condition which was unrecognizable by any human being. His body was extremely badly mutilated and uh, the mutilation was beyond recognition by any of his uh, comrades over there. And uh, it was, I think, a horrific act like I mentioned. It's not an act which should be done by a professional or an honorable or a respectful army. They should not re resort to this type of uh, torture which is against the principles of the Geneva Convention. The course of war during 1965, 1971 war and during Kargil war when one was in service. The most unfortunate thing is that the way they treated our soldiers, our young officers, who were captured, who went into the area by mistake, who lost their way, and they were brutally, brutally, brutally tortured, ignoring all the conventions which are given in the Geneva Conventions. This is a case in point. We should have taken it very strongly, and there are various other means and mechanisms available to us to ensure that our adversary behaves the way he should behave during such conflict. 
मुझे इस बात का दुख है कि ये प्रकरण इतने दिन तक लंबित रहा और इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट में क्या संभावनाएं हैं इस पर सरकार को विचार करना चाहिए जिनेवा कन्वेंशन के अंतर्गत किसी भी प्रिजनर ऑफ वॉर के साथ बदसलूकी नहीं होना चाहिए केंद्र सरकार को इस मामले में पहल करना चाहिए and even as support swells for uh, captain kalia pakistan continues to shirk responsibility for the heinous act of torture however some human rights activists in pakistan too are speaking up demanding that the pakistani government examine the charges the point is that pakistan has got nothing to do, do with it it <coughs> kargal there was a fight there was a skirmish some people died and uh, <clears throat> then that's what's it but as far as pakistan is concerned pakistan has a rules of the game and they follow them very rigidly they do not <clears throat> do anything to the body they if possible they try to hand over the body to the enemy but if it is not possible then they try to uh, preserve it as best as it can so as far as pakistan is concerned Pakistan army is concerned they were they would never have done a thing like this that body parts would have been cut off or something like this Pakistan is not a typical army of that nature Pakistan is a muslim army and they follow the rules of the game very religiously very clearly and in unambiguous terms say that if all this has been documented either nationally or internationally or regionally i condemn it strongly and unequivocally secondly i must inform your viewers that pakistan is a state party to the united nations human rights council's convention against torture cat therefore pakistan has legally binding commitments to adhere to and to be in compliance with the provisions of the convention against torture thirdly i think that the the demand to uh, for, for for the government of pakistan to tender an apology is not only correct but it is absolutely justified and i think as human rights activists global human rights activists it is our duty to stand in solidarity with the family of the slain and martyred soldier The immense outpouring of support for Captain Saurabh Kalia's family has prompted the families of other martyrs to also speak up demanding greater support from the government. Illa engalukku venda neethi kittittilla. Aa sandarbhathil ellarum vannu engale kittipidichu rajyathinu vendi marichu abhimanikkam ennu paranjittu poyadalla adu pinnida aaru engale thirinju nokkittilla. Engale urthare avasaraanu ഈ ആവശ്യതയിലും ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടുന്ന യാതൊരു സംരക്ഷണവും ഒരു ഭാഗത്തു നിന്നും ഉണ്ടായിട്ടില്ല ഞങ്ങളുടെ മകൻ ക്യാപ്റ്റൻ ആയി ക്യാപ്റ്റൻ അല്ലായിരുന്നു അവൻ ലെഫ്റ്റനൻ്റ് ആയിരുന്നു ക്യാപ്റ്റൻ അവനെ ഫാർവേഡ് അബ്സർവേഷൻ ഓഫീസർ എന്നും പറഞ്ഞൊരു പോസ്റ്റ് കൊടുത്ത് അവനെ ഫീൽഡിലേക്ക് അയച്ചതാണ് ആ സമയത്ത് അവൻ ക്യാപ്റ്റൻ അല്ല ഈ പോസ്റ്റ് കൊടുക്കുന്നത് ക്യാപ്റ്റൻ റാങ്കിലുള്ള ആളുകൾക്കേ കൊടുക്കാവൂ അപ്പോൾ സീനിയേഴ്സൊക്കെ മാറി നിന്നിട്ട് ജൂനിയേഴ്സിനെ ആണ് ഫീൽഡിലേക്ക് അയച്ചത് അത് ഞങ്ങൾ ബൊസവാൽ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന സ്ഥലത്ത് പോയിരുന്നു മകന്റെ റെജിമെന്റ് അവിടെയാണ് കിടക്കുന്നത് ഐ ഫീൽ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് വുഡ് ഹാവ് ബീൻ മച്ച് ബെറ്റർ ഇഫ് ദിസ് കേസ് വുഡ് ഹാവ് ബീൻ ടേക്കൺ അപ്പ് വിത്ത് ദ പാകിസ്ഥാൻ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ജസ്റ്റ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദി കാർഗിൽ വാസ് വാർ ഓവർ so i remember ki uh, such cases also happened on different borders like uh, bangladesh border also such case has happened and uh, gov- uh, this is a question of our dignity of our nation and uh, such matters should be taken up with the government of pakistan or uh, any other country which is concerned uh, should be taken up immediately after the uh, happening this matter is uh, never old the such matters can be taken at any time it's a question of dignity of our nation our forces and our society